So we're headed for maximum clique size, and we're headed for chromatic number. And I want to write these notational things. I have to move something, which I will. I probably did. Somehow, I move. I think I. I have no idea where the escape is. How about how much? That fixed everything. <laughs> and my friend back there is just laughing at me. Yeah, I'll get you for this. OK. All right. Uh, let me see if I can't just. I really would like to get rid of that print. Uh, how do I get rid of that screen? I, I did something wrong, and you've. Yeah, okay. I, I did hit escape, and I didn't escape. It only works when you're in the room. Okay. All right. We have maximum clique size, and that's denoted omega of G. That, that symbol right there is the lowercase Greek omega. Looks like a W, like a script W, but it's not a W. It's a Greek omega. And then the chromatic number. Is denoted chi of G. Largest clique. Fewest number of colors. And the theorem that you proved. Is it chi of G is greater or equal omega of g. And in 30 seconds, what is omega? 2. The largest clique has size 2. What is chi? Some are saying two. You're going to color this with two colors? I don't think so. One, two, one, two, something else. So the point is, chi can be larger than omega. Maybe only one larger. Maybe a lot larger. See you on Thursday.